So who exactly is Colonel Caldwell? You'll find out right after this. Hey everybody, I am Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. Today is another character profile and we're talking about Colonel Stephen Caldwell. Colonel Caldwell was the commander of the Daedalus, the one that primarily shuttled back and forth between Stargate Command in the Milky Way galaxy and Atlantis in the Pegasus galaxy. Therefore, most of its activities happened in Stargate Atlantis rather than SG-1. Colonel Caldwell is a career military strategist and is a pretty by-the-book officer. Colonel Caldwell is very familiar with the idea of acceptable losses and has no problem not putting his crew in danger in order to save one person when the odds are not exactly in his favor. This comes across as being rather cold-hearted to us as an audience and as some of the main characters, particularly Colonel Shepard and Dr. Weir. The idea of never leaving a man behind, they take very literally, whereas Colonel Caldwell is more realistic about it. If it kills off more people than to save the people, it's probably not a good idea unless you have a hell of a good plan in order to make it happen with minimal casualties. And while Shepard was down for the count dealing with a retrovirus that turned him into a crazy bug monster, uh, Colonel Caldwell stepped in to fill his position and made wide sweeping changes and correcting some of Shepard's rookie mistakes. Dr. Weir did not take too kindly to this since it seemed like Caldwell was really taking over the position and acting as though Shepard was doomed to die, which at the time was more than likely. Colonel Caldwell definitely wanted the position of being the lead military officer on the Atlantis expedition, but was denied that primarily due to Dr. Elizabeth Weir, which again caused some friction between those characters. A main turning point for Caldwell was when he was possessed by a Gua'uld. It is not clear as to exactly when that occurred, but the Gua'uld, who was also a trust operative, planted an explosive device within Atlantis and rigged it up so that the whole of Atlantis would explode, preventing the Wraith from investing in the Milky Way galaxy. It was only at the last minute when it was found out that Colonel Caldwell was the host of this Gua'uld, and that Gua'uld was transported out by the Asgard. Caldwell then became a little bit more, well, human to us and was a little bit more relatable since he wasn't exactly perfect as he presented himself to be. Colonel Caldwell also became more relatable and really formed a bond with Shepard and Weir when they became infested with a parasitic-like entity for a short period of time and they were not in charge of their own faculties and abilities. This really built a bridge between Caldwell, Shepard, and Weir in the understanding that anyone can be a host of a parasitic alien entity and not be in control of their own faculties. It seemed that after that though, Colonel Caldwell was more inclined to go on half suicidal missions in order to rescue people. However, he did make it very clear that they needed to have a good game plan. Colonel Caldwell was a fan of hit and run operations and only taking as much risk as they can while still making it out in most of one piece. This caused to a lot of successes in blowing up several hive ships, but it also caused the Daedalus to be almost destroyed a repeated amount of times and needed to be set down in Atlantis or holed up in the Milky Way galaxy or halfway between the galaxies in order to have repairs done to it. Caldwell was even willing to have the Daedalus go and fight the Super Hive in order to delay it and hopefully stop it from reaching Earth, although that was really improbable of a victory for the Daedalus. Colonel Caldwell is really resilient in his resolve to get his people back home safely and to do as much damage to the enemy as possible. Although he's not exactly a personable character, he does serve as a very important role and does a very good job showing what kind of military officers there are in the United States Air Force. Let me know what you think about Caldwell in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Great videos are coming out every week where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. You can click right here for another character profile or right here for some more Stargate awesomeness. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side.